everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julia and I'm happy that you're here. Today I'm going to be doing the Panning Pro Tag and this was created by Fort Worth Famous here on YouTube. I will link her channel below and I originally actually saw Amber F's video and she, I will also link her channel below. She's one of the people that really inspires me to project pan and like I always just love her videos and um, she does a lot of like panning palettes videos and she just always seems to have a positive attitude. I struggle with using like the same makeup every single day and staying positive about it and so just to like see, watch her video and watch other ladies videos here on YouTube and th watch their journey of project panning and actually using what they have has just been such a motivational experience for me. And so I'm just going to get right into the questions. I will leave the questions below. I tag all of you to do it. I tag everybody and anybody and even if you just want to answer them in the questions that would be in the comments below that would be great. So question number one is how did you learn about project panning? What was your first impression? I first learned about project panning through YouTube. My first impression, I really don't remember. I've been following project panners for a while and obviously I liked it because I started doing it myself and um, watching other people do project pan projects inspired me to do it as well. Number two, what's the hardest thing you've panned and the easiest? The hardest thing that I've panned is Probably blush. Blush tends to stick around for a long time because usually you need just a little bit um, to last, just a little bit each day. And so even if you use the blush every single day and wear it makeup seven days a week, a blush can still last a long time. And that has really given me a new perspective when it comes to purchasing when it comes to purchasing blush because it's like okay even though this blush is forty dollars I would really love using it and I would love to apply it to my face every day and it will last me a long time so then you know I can kind of justify a forty dollar blush or something um and but that has all it's also helped me to not purchase as many blushes or as many makeup products in general because now when I purchase makeup I actually consider like how long it would take me to finish that product and that can really, you know, just put a realistic perspective on your purchases and to help you just like weed out like, okay, do I really want to spend my time on using this product or would I enjoy it more using this other product? And for me, most of the time, I enjoy using more luxurious products over the drugstore products. Not to say that I don't love a lot of drugstore products, but when it just comes down to it, like using higher end stuff is just more luxurious and it's more fun to use them so I tend to be able to justify higher end makeup items and the easiest products that I um, pan are is definitely eyeshadow just because I use eyeshadow pretty much every day and as long as I use an eyeshadow every day like I know that it won't take me that long to finish it up so that's the easiest have you number three have you attempted the pan that palette challenge why or why not no, I have not because that is just a lot of commitment for me to do one whole palette. I have used up palettes before like a quad or a trio or a duo, but never like more than four or five shadows in a palette. Actually, I think the highest that I did was a five eyeshadow palette. It was a Wet n Wild Smoke and Melrose. I finished it up not too long ago and I actually really missed that palette. Um, and it was a limited edition one, so I can't repurchase it. So no, I've never officially, officially done a Pan That Palette Challenge. Number four, has panning affected your makeup buying habits? If so, how? Absolutely, and I sort of mentioned that um, a few questions ago. It When I purchase makeup, I actually see how long it will take me, or I have a realistic idea of how long it will take me to actually use that pa that product. If it's only going to take me a few months, you know, when it's $50, I'd be like, that's a lot of money to spend on something that's only going to last me three months. But if it's going to last me a lot longer than that, or if I would really enjoy using it, then it's worth it to me. Number five, what do you plan on panning next? I just filmed my Finish 6 by Summer, so go check that out. That's a new seasonal project that I will be embarking on. So those are the six products that I'm going to be focused on panning. Number six, where do you get your panning inspiration and motivation? Again, I've already mentioned that. Just the 
beauty community here and just also this sense of accomplishment I feel when I do finish a product like it really encourages me to just keep going in to keep using my own makeup that I have. The other inspiration that I have is you know like when I look at my collection and I think right now I have about five blushes I think. And just looking at that and like thinking about how long it would take me to just use those five blushes up, it's like, that's years. That would take me years to use up. So that is my inspiration is to like, I actually want to use what I have and what I've spent my hard-earned money on. Number seven, what is your favorite thing about the panning community? Just the encouragement that we give each other. I mean, yeah, it's entertaining and amusing to watch each other's videos, but at the end of the day, like, we're all just people. And that's what my favorite thing is, is, like, we're all just women who are just passionate about makeup and passionate about actually using what we purchase. Number eight, if you're currently project panning, what item is giving you the most trouble? I am currently project panning the Milani Blush and in Berry Amore and that sucker... It has just, I've been using it now for solid, like for a few months, and I have just now hit pan on it. I think I've been using it since November or December of 2015, and I just recently hit pan on it, and it's the end of March now, so I guess that's actually not that bad, but that blush is much smaller than a lot of other brands of blushes. And I have a couple of blushes that I really, really want to use, but I would love to finish this one up. So I'm just trying to stay motivated and finish that blush. So that's the one that's just like... Number nine, how long do you plan to project pan? Do you see yourself stopping at any point? Right now, I don't see myself stopping. There are definitely days where I feel a little bit discouraged or, you know, I just don't want to use whatever I've been project panning. And those are the days that I kind of consider like to stop doing it but I the sense of accomplishment when you do finish a product just kind of keeps me going and I just remind myself of that when I'm feeling discouraged number 10 would you recommend project panning to others how would you explain it yes I would recommend it to others if it's something that you care about if you don't care about it then don't do it makeup is different for everybody some people are energized by having a big collection and just being able to reach for whatever and not ever really finishing anything up but just using what makes them happy for that day and not to say that project painting doesn't make me happy on a day to day basis because it really does but for me like I just want to use what I've actually purchased instead of just constantly buying new things because if I buy new things there's no way I'd be able to finish all that I have and so I do recommend it to people, but only if you want to do it. Like, makeup is something that you should not feel guilty about. If you have a larger collection and you're happy with it, good for you. If you still, if you like having a larger collection and you're into project panning, like, that's the best of both worlds right there. But I just want to, I recommend it, but only if you want to do it. That's where it really has to come from. As long as project panning brings you joy, then go for it. I would definitely recommend it. I love it. So anyways, you guys, that is the 10 questions, and thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.